All right, all right, uh, Shalom Amakim. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Recha Kodash. All right, I want to give double honor to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwell. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe and all meekness and humbleness, you know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And our Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing, Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know, and my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash, is going to be basically on giving diligence, all right, you know, being con being consistent in this truth, man, all right, and, and pushing forward. All right, until our Lord Yahweh Shah returns, man, because by us doing this work I, uh, in this ministry, you know, prophesying, you know, fearing the Lord, you know, showing that brotherly charity, all right, uh, you know, being on point, you know, doing the will of, of Yahweh Bashim Shah, you know, that, that's a reward that comes from that, man. All right, even though we are on profitable service, but the Lord said, if you do these things, and there's going to be a reward for you, all right, and that's the greatest reward we can ever receive is salvation. All right, salvation, seeing our Lord Yahweh shall returns, all right, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ, and beaming us up in those chairs, so called UFO. All right, and getting those new bodies, all right, that crown, I right, get that uh, scepter, all right, because Lord said we're gonna rule these nations with a rod and iron, and what we're gonna rule the world with our Lord, man. So it's, 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 a, it's a win win, you know, to give diligence. So I'm gonna just roll through the spirit, Lord, when it's edified. This book is Second Peter, Second Peter, chapter one, and verse 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure so hey, you gotta give diligence to make your calling and election sure man it says uh many are called but few are chosen man all right we've been called to called into this truth all right to what to work man all right to to be a laborer scripture said the harvest is plenty but the laborers is few man pray that the most high bring more laborers in man all right and the lord gave you this gift this gift of faith this this wisdom knowledge understanding and you gotta use you gotta use your talents, you gotta use your gift. All right, the best of your ability, man. All right, because hey, we don't know if we're chosen, but we know we call. That's why we give and diligence and make our call and election sure. All right, you can't sit on this uh this uh this gift that the most high Yahweh Masha gave us. This book is Second Peter chapter one, verse ten. It says, Wherefore the rather than brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. Ye shall never fall, man. I stumble. You should never fall out of the truth, man. All right, verse 11. For so an interest shall be ministered minister unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Mashiach. So a what? An interest is going to be ministered unto us into his, into our Lord, Yahweh Shah's everlasting kingdom, man. All right? Because the Lord is coming back to set up an everlasting kingdom for us, man. And if we... If we do these things, we're going to see the kingdom being built. All right. The Lord is going to reward us, man. All right. We got we got high hopes, man. We got high uh, blessings, you know, good news to look forward to, man. Our Lord said, uh, 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 what he said, man? And interest shall be ministered to you abundantly into the, into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord, man. All right. So the Lord is going to reward us, man, if we do these things, man. This is the book of um, 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians fifteen. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, which this goes into, you read up, it goes into how the Lord said he's going to change our vile body like it's unto his glorious body. Basically, we're going to be changed in a twinkling of an eye. We're going to put off this immortal, I mean, we're going to put off this mortal body what we're gonna receive new bodies all right but i'm gonna just get to the point uh first corinthians chapter 15 verse 58 says therefore my beloved brethren be ye steadfast all right steadfast in the truth unmovable hey we can't be double-minded we got to be unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the lord so be steadfast unmovable because our labor is not in vain all right, let's get to the book of Hebrews. If I can find it there with me. Bear 
сегодня. The Lord said, your labor It's our labor is not in vain. I believe it's eight. Lord say he's not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, man. That's what it is. What you, what you um, bear with me. I'm using my phone so I can't Google it. I know it's in Hebrew, so bear with me. Yeah, six. It's a lot here, like the water y'all bashing on shot. That's why y'all keep going over these precepts, man. This is the book of uh, Hebrew chapter six in verse 10. Hebrews chapter six and verse 10. It says, for the most high, Yahweh bashing on shot is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he has showed toward his name and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So the Lord is not unright, all right, to forgive, to forget, all right, your labor of love, man, your work, man. The Lord, the scriptures say, uh, if you die in the Lord, your works do follow you. The Lord sees what we doing, man. He see what we doing, man. All right, let's read it again. Hebrews chapter six and verse 10, it says, for the most high, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, that's why we proclaim the names Yahweh, why Yahweh shot. We're not ashamed to, all right, to uh, proclaim those names because those are the true names that we believe through faith. All right, and by us calling on those names, Lord, when we part of and us doing his work and prophesying and having faith, we're going to be delivered, man. It says, The Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Yo, you ministers to the saints, man, to the Akim. Verse 11 says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. So we got to show that same diligence, man. We all got to be consistent. You know, cer certain days, you know, you may not do a video. All right. Maybe, maybe you just, you ministering. All right. You're around the Akim, you know, you, you, you read and you watching videos, man. But we, you know, the, the main thing is doing the work, you know, pushing out these videos. That's what Apostle Tar always pushes, man, being on fire, man. No, you know, but you got to read, you know, certain, certain days and you may not put out a video, but and you got to be consistent. You want to be in the mindset. Are right? you saying you miss a day? Right, I'm going to put up two videos this so the next day, man. All right. Just hey, we show we got to show the same diligence, man. Should we say mark the perfect man for the end of that man is peace. We got the apostles and elders for examples, man. 30, 40 years in the shoe. All right. Pushing it, man. All right. Verse 12 it says that you be not slothful. All right, and be not sluggish, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. So, hey, patience and faith, man. All right, suffering, but we still have a faith. Oh, we're going to receive the promises. And the Lord said, hey, uh, 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 interest is going to be ministered to us abundantly into his everlasting kingdom, man. All right. This is the book of um, Revelation chapter 2. This is a quick lesson. I'm going to come back with another one, Lord, when I'm going to break right now. This is Revelation chapter 2 and verse 25. It says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. This truth, man. We got the truth. Hold fast and keep keep on keep being on, on point with Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Verse 26. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works until the end. So this is all about doing it. 
to the end, keeping his works until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. So what? That reward, right? We're gonna get those new bodies, we're gonna get deliverance, and also the Lord's gonna give us power over these heathens, man, these nations, man. All right, it says, in um, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So the Lord said, even how the most high, you read Psalms 2. Uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter, how the Most High gave him power, dominion, and, and he gonna rule right over his uh, over the nations. The Lord said he gonna give us that same power, man, with that same authority, because he's gonna be more powerful with us. But he's gonna give us that same authority, man. All right. So why wouldn't be we be consistent? Why wouldn't be um, diligent in this truth, man? All right. Should say I have not seen, neither is heard what the Most High has prepared for them that love him, man. All right, if you need to love the Lord and hey, keep his commandments, man, do, do what the Lord said. Go out on the highways and byways, you know. Make your body a living sacrifice for Yahweh Bashim al because this is going to pay off, man. All right, this reward is going to pay off in big time, man. All right, and we're going to be rich forever. We're going to live forever. All right, we're going to be joyous forever, man. All right, and we're going to see the downfall of our enemies, all right. So, Lord, when this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, Lord, when it's edifying, Lord, when I do another video, you know, Lord, when it later, all right. But Lord, when in this lesson was edifying to the elect, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruba. And I want to give a uh, peace and greetings and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushing his word in uh, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in the truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. You know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe. Hey, shalom, hey, keep fighting, keep it doing, shalom.